互联网视频平台的发展的话呢，迅速的弥补了这个在传播平台上，呃，欧美发达国家和亚洲这个和亚洲地区的这个一个差别。这样的话呢，就让呃亚洲地区的影视的制作人、制作者有同样的速度和同样的实力和同样的这个这个效率，能够把自己的内容分发到全世界。呃，具体讲到爱奇艺的话呢，我们自己在全球目前已经覆盖，呃，一百九十一个国家和地区，同时也在满足多元化的这个观众的口味根据，呃，南加州大学在今年发布的这个 a n n e b e r g Inclusion Initiative 的报告，呃，那么从二零零七年到二零一九年，全球票房排名前一千三百名的这个电影中啊，只有不到三十部是由。亚洲人主演或者共同主演的，而且这一千三百部电影里边的话，如果出现过亚洲人的角色的话，四分之一的亚洲人的角色在最后都死掉了，啊，那么同样的话呢，这个这一千三百部电影的里边的导演里边的话呢，也是只有五十名导演来自于亚洲，可以说呢，就是亚洲影视的话呢，目前我们有很迅猛的发展速度，但是呢，确实还缺乏一些这个历史上的积累和积淀。爱奇艺在这些年的话呢，也才也得到了一些这个长足的发展和进步。呃，比如说二零一八年，我们一部这个嗯大陆地区的话非常火爆的剧《延禧攻略》，就已经销往了全球七十多个国家和地区。最关键的是呢，在二零一八年的这个 Google 的全球搜索热词排行榜电视剧分榜里面，那么我们排到了第一名。今年的话，爱奇艺的一些，比如像《月光变奏曲》啊，《变成你的那一天、啊》呀这样的剧集的话呢，我们也达到了一个呃五六千万的这样一个播放量，哎、呃，然后在悬疑剧场的话呢，啊、呃，去年的话呢，我们的这个迷雾剧场里面的两部剧集，一部叫做《沉默的真相》，一部叫做《隐秘的角落》，哎、呃，分别讲的是一个呃一个一个一个一个冤案啊，还有一个青少年的这个这个这个犯罪的问题啊。这两部剧的话呢，在呃釜山的国际电影电视节的话，分别获得了这个最佳的原创剧集和最佳创意的奖。我觉得这些的话呢，应该说都是代表着说亚洲影视内容借助流媒体平台发展的这样的一个嗯非常好的例证。Well, I absolutely agree. I mean, right now the Asian representation in the global market is definitely not as strong as it should be. But I'm very,、um, you know, happy that we are seeing that on the rise right now because thanks to the streaming industry like Aichi,、uh, who has been actively promoting local content in the global stage, so that's very encouraging. And also, this is a game-changing move actually in global entertainment because、uh, it changes how we see the world. As you know. TV and movies, they fill the knowledge gaps、um, with powerful images and stories that inform the way we think about different cultures. So with that, I mean, people are generally curious as well. There are a few Malaysian stars that global viewers remember,、um, such as Michelle Yeoh, Henry Golding, Ronnie Chang, but. They currently live outside of Malaysia, so this is a trend we hope to change in the near future, because this has been the traditional way of achieving international fame, where you have to move to a Western country or a bigger Asian market like China in order to make it big. However, with the streaming platforms today that are focused more on investing in local content with the intention to distribute it across the world, this provides a really good opportunity to showcase emerging Malaysian talents and directors beyond the local market. So this allows local creatives, I feel, to tell stories about their own cultures across the globe. Which is really great. So, as streaming giants such as Aichi begin to produce more local content, local originals, I would say now is a good time for our local Malaysian creatives to adapt popular Malaysian novels and transform them into global shows. Having said this, I think it's、uh, also a good time to bring Malaysia's top-notch directors, creative talents, writers, and intellectual properties to the global audience as well. When I think of localization, the first thing that comes to mind is actually language. So I think your content must be fully understandable by the audience in order to succeed in any international market. And also, we must not forget that 
we must take into account preferences as well when it comes to subtitles or dubbing in a certain market. In order to achieve the best localization results, the, it's important for the creative process to maintain the authenticity of the language as well as the tone. 大陆和东南亚地区的话呢，有着非常相近的共同的一些呃文化根基、文化根源。我们也关注到，全世界的青年的观众，其实呢都在逐渐的趋同化。特别是随着他们本身的文化层次的提升，啊、呃，随着他们的互联网使用的频繁和交流的话呢，在趋同化。那么，在传统文化之上，怎么找到和这些共同的这些？年轻人有共鸣的这样的一个基本点就变得非常重要，呃，所以呢，我们不光是说我们自己的内容走出去，我们也把，呃，东南亚地区优秀的一些制作人，包括一些明星，呃，请进来，呃，比如说我们的综艺节目，在大陆播出的综艺节目的话，会邀请东南亚地区非常知名的一些，呃，年轻的偶像来参与，甚至成为我们的导师。Localizing an IP, right? What does that mean? So, uh, for us, the key to localizing an intellectual property is to first source for engaging stories that are closely related to our own culture, even though the language is different. Um, for the Malaysian audience, we are typically drawn to stories which have strong Asian cultural frames, which we see today in a lot of China. Dramas, Korean dramas, you know, typically in the Asian region. Singing the Kusul Samkyo Chono, Chonyon Gakai Kumo. Ah, 平台的这样一个非常有利于呃亚洲影视内容传播的一个平台，但是呢，我们依然需要一些这个传统的呃影展、电视展，参与一些这个国际化的影展和电视展，来展示。本土来展示我们自己的内容，并把它铺向全球。海外制作策略应该有一个主战场，你围绕这个主战场里的核心圈层，就是我们称之为圈层，就是核心的那些一个核心的人群，去打造你的内容。使用的也许是你本土的一些内内容的题材，也许是当地的这这这种比较本地化的内容的题材。但是无论如何的话呢，都必须要在这个核心的圈层里边形成一个共鸣。形成一个共鸣之后的话呢，来扩散到其他的年龄段啊，或者其他的这个这个民族的这个人群里面，这个可能说才是我们认为说，呃，本土化内容走向全球化，或者说本地化内容，呃，或者说是外国的影视公司能够做好本地化内容的一个核心。The story that we choose to make have to be able to translate well, um, in the country as well as travels well outside the country. So when I say that, what I mean is, I think today, like uh, Ge Lao Si has mentioned earlier, with the internet, um, you know, age, knowledge is very, you know, it travels really fast and you can learn about different cultures very quickly at the tip of your fingers, just one click, you get to find, you know, you get to travel the world in, in a way. That said, I believe global consumers today do have an appetite for genre bending shows because they find it's it's a new it's a fresh take on you know stories that are familiar so with that when we cross genres um i think the storytelling approach is creative it's captivating and obviously at the end of the day it has to be entertaining as well i believe if the story is honest and realistic i think the audience will find themselves will be able to find themselves in it Um, regardless of what their native language is.